Hi, we're here at HDMI booth at CES uh, showing another great HDMI 2.1 demo. What we have here is uh, HDMI 2.1 world's first uh, 48 gigabit cable chip. This with is a, a new cable. Prototype, yeah, ultra high speed HDMI cable. Uh, this is from Victus. There's a transmitter and receiver showing the uh, 48 gigabits of HDMI 2.1 running. And we have uh, Chan Lee here from Victus who can show you uh, more details about the demo. So, hello, so who are you? Yeah, hello, I'm uh, Chan Lee Harrell with Invicus. And, uh, uh, we're showing off the world's first HDMI transmitter and HDMI receiver for uh, use and development of DVDs, players, set-top boxes, TVs, and those sorts of uh, all the devices you find in your home. So right here, uh, if I zoom in right here, there's a chip. It says uh, Invicus right here. That's correct, yes. And um, the technology that's in there, is it coming from the silicon image and lattice and now it's part of it does it is part of the silicon image heritage yes and we uh, we have worked uh, in the past for lattice we are the, the, the company in vicus uh, uh, delivering these devices now hdmi 2.1 is uh, the biggest upgrade for hdmi in its history we are really pumping up the bandwidth of the of the pipe 48 gigabits per second constantly 48 going. gigabits per second uh, hdmi 2.0 is 18 gigabits per second so this is a much bigger uh, uh, pipe. So is it a bigger chip, a bigger cable, or more in the chip, or? Uh, so uh, uh, of course we are designing very low, uh, low power, uh, very concise chips for this uh, to deliver products to the market. Uh, however, the the cable, we, the HDMI 2.1 spec does uh, deliver a new specification for the cable. It's a lower loss cable. We've upgraded the signaling. Uh, the, the spec upgrades the signaling to use uh, embedded clocking in all four lanes for data. So we are uh, delivering that bandwidth through different coding. So uh, many changes in the specification to, to get this kind of bandwidth. And uh, of course the, the chips uh, embody, uh, incorporate that all into one solution. Uh, so right here it says uh, 4K60, uh, no 4K120, uh, 8K60. Uh, this is going to be it's going to be possible. Basically, there will be all kinds of other things happening, but then it goes through the signaling chips That's right. that are needed on each side of an HDMI. That's right. Otherwise, nothing happens, right? There's a there's a transmission chip for signaling uh, that uh, puts the trans uh, transmit transmits the data onto the cable, and then uh, there's a, a very high performance cable, and then there's a receiver chip in the TV that receives that and uh, decodes it and then sends it on, on its way for downstream Is there some encoding processing. and decoding happening in that chip too? Uh, certainly there's a lot of processing around uh, both the analog signaling on the, on the uh, link as well as the digital packetization, other kinds of signaling that go on uh, for such a high-speed link. Because there are some other chips sometimes on the on the PCB that do the encoding or decoding of an H.265 stream, let's say, mm, right? Mm, but then yes. it says an, a video signal is something else to get it to the HDMI. Yeah, so the video signal is a very complex signal to begin with, both from an analog and a digital perspective. So that is, uh, our chips handle that. Uh, certainly when there's a new standard that comes out, there has to be a way to deliver that into the system, and we provide that. And uh, these, these uh, chips are specifically made for these kinds of HDMI cables that are, uh, on each end of the HDMI is going to be a standard, but the cable could be some, could be, could be uh, optical, could be copper, could be... So as part of the development of this standard, it was recognized that uh, active cables, both active copper cables, which incorporate equalization, and active optical cables, which uh, of course include optics, uh, are coming to market, that hitting the consumer market at a good price point. So uh, we can, uh, HDMI can deliver very long cables based on those kinds of technologies, in addition to the very inexpensive uh, shorter cables uh, that are pure copper. Here we're showing a, uh, an, uh, a prototype of the ultra, new ultra high speed cable. And this is a copper cable that is uh, three meters long. So we're showing a, a prototype here in conjunction with our transmitter and our receiver chips. And the transmitter and receiver, does it have to uh, verify the data? And uh, like, does it do any kind of like um, uh, full tolerance or something like that? Or? Uh, yeah, HDMI 2.1 does incorporate some of those kinds of features, so there is some error detection correction that goes on behind the scenes. So things still look good even though there might be like somebody stepping on a cable or something? Uh, uh, truthfully, the, the, the link is designed to um, uh, really have very high uh, integrity, so very low error rate. However, there is on top of that some additional error correction. 48 gigabit per second, is that 
Uh, uncompressed? Is that raw? 48 or what gigabits. Is it? So what we're showing here is for, uh, 8K 60 hertz, 10 bit per component, uncompressed transmission. That's very 8K60, high. 8K 10 8K 60 hertz content, ten native bits? content, uh, at 10 bits per color component. So 10 bits for red, 10 for green, 10 for blue. Very high bitrate stuff, right. and it just. Uh, uh, it's the best way to transport video. There's no better... There's, no better interface. There's that's no right. better interface. There's that's no right. better ideas out there, that's right? right? That's the, this is the best interface for transmitting this for video. That's right.